Sumo wrestling is a game of seconds. However, there's months of training that go within those seconds. Imagine it's like an earthquake that's building and building and building, and all of a sudden there's this huge explosion all at one time. That's what sumo is. I'm really just a normal guy. I'm a husband. I'm a father of three. I'm the director of technology for the County Office of Education. I'm also an American sumo wrestler. Well, sumo has a long history in Japan. Some people trace it back up to 1,500 or 2,000 years, but it's essentially you know, wrestling where you either want to push your opponent out of the ring or knock your opponent to the ground. People have an image that sumo wrestlers are basically just bumping bellies and wobbling around. And as you can see from the practice here, nothing's further from the truth. Roy's amazing. He basically came out of nowhere. He showed up to the 2014 US Sumo Open and blew everyone's mind. He beat every single American opponent. With almost no training, he's already the number one American. To be a competitive sumo wrestler, you need to train hard. Whether I'm stretching, whether I'm powerlifting, whether I'm working out with, with rocks. I'm always looking for the edge. The thing that really brought me to sumo was the fact that there was culture and sport all kind of mixed in one. It seemed like a perfect fit. For example, when you stomp the ground, you're ridding the, the area of bad spirits. And when you make your first clap, you're waking up the gods. You know, he is a, a gentle giant and he doesn't want to hurt anybody. And sumo's great that way because, you know, they're just trying to get each other out of the ring. They're not trying to knock each other out or really hurt, hurt one another. I think sumo has that, that camaraderie, fraternity aspect to it. You know, we're banging heads, we're going at it. At the end of it, there's still this high level of respect. I guess as a pacifist, that, that definitely appeals to me. <laughs> 